My name is Rob Basso, and as a successful entrepreneur, I've been involved with hundreds of businesses and learn from their owners what makes them tick. Today, I'm on a mission to help entrepreneurs examine the challenges they face and find solutions to make their businesses even stronger. This is Vaso on Business. I got a chance to ride shotgun with Lloyd from Select Exterminating as we visited one of his clients and learned about his business. The customer here is having a uh, rat problem. Okay. From the, it's coming in from the back. Put some bait stations out here and Great. Uh, uh, feed the rodents. Does it matter really where you put this thing? You can't. You want to put it over here, over there. Does that have to be on the top? Well, you want to put it against the walls because uh, rodents run the run edges. Okay. Just put it against the fence. Oh, no, put right, it against the fence. Right, right there in that uh, opening, right there. All right. How long will it take for the, the little buggers to probably be end up in there and dead? Well, they don't die in there. Oh, they don't die in there. What do they do? They eat the they eat the bait. Yeah. And they kind of die wherever they die. Oh, okay. So let's place this one more, and then I know we've got one that kind of looks like a rock. I mean, are you trying to trick the rats with the rock? Well, whatever. <laughs> Show me where to put this, and okay. should right I put it along over here? Like I'll put it on either. another side over here. It's, it, the, the rock is really used because the uh, it's, it's got to be is cosmetically it? pleasing. Oh, you know, for you, the customer. For the customer. Yeah. All right, let's put this aesthetically pleasing rock someplace. Well, why don't you choose a place? Where there's, do you think? There's a problem right, so in this. In I'm this. not really a landscaper, but you know, I'll we'll do I our think best. You just put it in. Uh, by here. You know, is that is that good? Do you guys have a specialization now? I know we're putting rat traps out today, but what are you guys really known for killing? Well, we basically do a commercial, residential. Um, do a lot of rodent work in the city. You have lots of clients? Uh, over 3,000. Over 3,000. So how many people do you have working for the organization? Uh, 25. Let's go back to your office and spend time talking about the financial challenge you have. That's why I'm here in the first place. Let's do it. Let's go. Hey, hey, Rob. Hey, Lloyd. How are you? Good, good to see you. Look at you. It's nice and spiffy. Oh, I, I, I clean up pretty well after I was out there <laughs> yes, feeding rat do. traps, right? So how long have you been at this location? Uh, we're here probably about uh, eight, nine years now. So tell me a little bit about what you do to use the finances of this business. How do you, how do you, where do you get your capital? Is it out of your pocket? What, what do you do? We've been self-financing. Okay. That's what we do. So uh, acquisitions and everything we buy, we've been financing ourselves at a regular cash flow. At a regular cash flow, do you find that specific really challenging? Oh, it's 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 horrendous. It's uh, horrendous. Why is it horrendous? Well, because we have there, there's uh, busy times during the course of the year when we're, mm. we're flush with cash, and there's very very slow times during the course of the year. It really is very challenging. So, what would you actually do with financing? I mean, have you been looking at businesses to buy over the last few years? Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we are always in, we're always looking to buy businesses, and we bought a business last year, oh. and the and the cash flow is is absolutely killing us. So when you say, when you say it's killing, you be specific. What what what, is, what well, does it do our, to your business? Our, well, because we're uh, we're we're sending so much money out to the uh, seller, it's really hurting us in paying bills and and really operating at, at a very level fashion. So you're really looking for some sort of refinance structure, is that correct? Exactly, restructuring the the, the existing loan. Okay, and what have you done to make that happen? Well, we've contacted many banks, uh, banks that I've been doing business with for years and that, that I thought I had great relationships with and been absolutely turned down. Why, why do you think they've turned you down? Because they have never really understood the business model. They don't ever really understood what pest control is and how we run our business. And even though we had very strong financials and tax returns and personal financials over the years, always been turned down. Do you think you put the package together appropriately where it was all brought to them exactly the way it should have been? They give you a list okay. of things that you need to supply um, the package. It was just a, a, a plain vanilla transaction and that they never took an active interest in who we were. How would your business look if you got that refinancing? Well, we'd, we'd certainly be able to operate in a very smooth fashion. It'd be much, much easier. Lloyd, I have a suggestion. I have some expert banking relationships that I think can really help craft your package and take a look at Lloyd Garten as an individual, a person in the community, and how great select exterminating really is. And maybe we can teach them about the exterminating business so they can actually help you get this loan closed because I think it's going to make great. a dramatic difference in the way your operation runs. You want to take some time and go talk to him? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, great. I wanted to meet with Tom, the president of Empire National Bank, 
to discuss the challenges Lloyd has been having with his loan package. I felt confident that after we discussed the details, Lloyd would have a much better chance of getting the loan approved. Tom, thanks for spending time going over some of Lloyd's loan requirements. And Dan, thanks for joining us. Uh, the whole concept here is to try to help uh, Lloyd figure out the best way to package a loan. What do you suggest for small business owners? What's the things that you look for in a small business package? We look for a number of things in a small business. First, it's very important to sit down and, and meet with the small businessman. Talk to him about his business, his history in the business, how long he's been doing it. Get a feeling for his knowledge of the business. Is this something that they're just embarking on or is this something they've been at for a while and they know the business inside and out? Getting a comfort level with his knowledge of running the business. Now, Lloyd, you, you've actually uh, you know, been in business for a long time and you shopped this loan to multiple places. How frustrating is that? that you've got a great business, everything's doing wonderful, you're steaming forward, and nobody wants to give you any money. Well, what you do is you just try to go forward. You try to find out what, what's missing in the package or what, they're, what, what I didn't provide them. It was never really clear as to what was missing. They just said no. It was just a blanket no. It, it, it basically, uh, they didn't really, I, I didn't get the feeling that they really cared enough to look at right. the business that we're in. So why don't you tell us, so you, you had purchased the business and, and you need these funds for what reason? We had purchased the business and the seller was holding the notes on the business and the terms were, it was a three-year term. And uh, basically the, the, the monthly payment was uh, emptying out the bank account. We were, we were drowning in, in making well, the I don't payment. Well, I don't mean to cut. Didn't you know that when you were doing the deal? Didn't you know it would cause a cash problem? No, I really didn't, I really didn't appreciate uh, what it was going to do to the business. After we had been doing it for a while, I recognized that it was really hurting us to do that. And I, and I needed to refinance this, this debt over a longer period of time to get a nice, even cash flow. And that's what, we were, that's what the objective was. I bet you'd like to set a couple of rat traps for some of the bankers that potentially didn't write those loans. No, I, don't, I, don't feel, I, don't, I really don't feel that way. If, if they really looked at the deal and wanted to make a real business decision, it would have supported it. You know, these other institutions that you had, you know, failed meetings with that looked at your package, um, it, it looks like they, did they help you? Did the banks themselves help you put this stuff together? Is that one of the bank's roles to help the potential people that they're lending money to, to put the package together appropriately so it looks right for them? I don't, you know, because to me it just makes sense that the bank should be part of that process. Not just giving them a list of items to do, but helping them make sure it's appropriately done. Is that what a bank does? Once we do get that package in, it's easier to assess what they need and how to structure it. Part of the problem too might have been the size of the bank. Obviously, depending on the size of the business, a local community bank would be uh, more apt to meeting with the customer. A local community bank, I mean, this is who we lend to, local business customers. After a few weeks, Lloyd was contacted by the bank and invited back to discuss his loan. Nice to see you again. Hey, guys. Good to see you. Good, Good to see you guys. Well, you know, we've been waiting patiently. Let's, uh, let Lloyd, let's hope they have good news. <laughs> we've been rejected multiple times, <laughs> so you can make or break our day today. Well, after reviewing the information, we're pleased to announce that we have approved the loan. Oh, wow, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, outstanding. Thank you so much. Welcome to Empire. Congratulations. All right. Hey, we've been rejected three or four times before. Guys, what was the determining factor? What made you want to do this? I think Lloyd's enthusiasm for his business, his uh, knowledge of the business, and the fact that uh, he has the ability to cash flow the debt. Cash flow repays the loan. This is great. Thank you. It's extremely important to have a great relationship with your banker. Uh, they need to exert the, uh, the time and effort to understand your business. And once they do that, they can fully appreciate uh, how viable your business is and uh, be willing to invest funds in your business. Uh, in the past, our prior relationships failed us, and uh, today we have a great relationship. If I had to identify one factor that made it easier to approve Lloyd's loan, it was meeting Lloyd and getting a sense that this man really knows his business. He knows the ins and outs of running this business, and he impressed upon us that he's very organized from a standpoint of his finances. He has a need for financing, but at the same time, he's diligent to take the steps. He had a CPA, 
had very organized financials, his tax returns. He was doing all the right things. He just needed a bank to sit down and listen and hear his story. I'm so excited that this transaction actually took place. Lloyd worked really hard to get this package put together. And the best part is he found the right bank that was willing to spend the time, energy, and effort in the relationship to make it work. I am absolutely certain if Lloyd uses these funds properly, his business will become even more successful. This is Vaso on Business.